Today, life on Baker Road is making pumpkin pie. I've been waiting to make pumpkin pie all day. First things first, we're going to open this bottle of wine. We are going to be making pies both with fresh pumpkin and with canned pumpkin. So the first thing we, that we need to do is preheat the oven and get the fresh pumpkins roasted. While those are roasting, we are gonna go ahead and make our pumpkin pie made from canned pumpkin since everything's ready to go for that. We're going to mix our wet ingredients and dry ingredients separately so we make sure that everything's blended together really smoothly. Then we're going to combine the wet and dry ingredients into what will go inside our pie shell. The one thing that I'm not making from scratch at all is the pie shells. I haven't mastered that yet. <laughs> Store-bought refrigerated pie shells it is. Mixing dry ingredients is a great time to let the kids help. First thing that we need in our dry ingredients, quarter teaspoon of salt, cinnamon, and a little more cinnamon. You only need a quarter teaspoon of cardamom, Nothing smells more like fall than cloves. Quarter teaspoon of those as well. And then we need some nutmeg. These pies call for a quarter cup of sugar. Hmm. Fun fact, this measuring cup does not have a quarter on it. I'm sorry that Bridget missed this. We learned on another YouTube video that the best way to crack eggs is not actually on the side of the bowl, but on a flat surface. You get less eggshells in your stuff. Wow, we had a double yolk. That one was a double yolk. This is rubber and it's getting yellowish, but not much. I'm a little bit good at mixing. I happen to really enjoy going to buy pie pumpkins and roasting the pumpkin, so that's really why I do that, but there's lots of great canned pumpkin out there that um, has no preservatives and it's just pumpkin in a can, so feel free to take that shortcut. And it is yum, cause it's in pie and you taste it, and it does taste yum. It doesn't just taste like pumpkins. I love pumpkins. This looks good. We're gonna call that a cup and three quarters. And now we're gonna put it in here. Do you think I could buy a bigger whisk? Uh, I would say yes. Emmy, are you ready to pour the heavy cream in? Yeah. The secret ingredient, real maple syrup. Yeah. You know, from Costco. When you get the dry and wet ingredients all a little bit mixed together, it turns into this color. Mmm, delicious. This is vanilla extract. Now that we've got all of our liquid ingredients blended together, we're going to add our dry ingredients and... Uh, into here. Yes, into there. And then we will check on our pumpkins that are roasting in the oven. This is the part where you want to make sure that the dry ingredients really get blended in, but if the kids are helping you, don't let them over mix it. And I make sure I don't over mix it. This might look a little bit good. So we're gonna do the pie crust next. You'll want to let this come up to room temperature so that it's easy to spread into your pie pan without any crinkles or breaks. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get this pushed down into the bottom so that it's really touching the whole way around. I like to toast my pie shells before I put the filling in. Um, even if you start the oven at, at 425 and drop it down right as you put the pie in, I still find that the middle of the crust gets a little soggy. So we'll toast those first, then put our filling in and bake the pie. Got the 
pie crust out of the oven, I'm gonna pour the filling in and then pop it back in the oven. I just checked our neck pumpkins that are roasting in the oven. They are done, nice and tender, so I'm gonna take them out to cool. The recipe to make a pie with fresh pumpkin is the exact same recipe. We're just, instead of using a cup and three quarters of canned pumpkin, we're going to use a cup and three quarters of the pumpkin I just roasted. It's important to let it cool before you put it in a blender or food processor where it will explode and burn you all over the face and spray all over your cabinets and then you'll have a crying breakdown on the kitchen floor because you are already having a really hard day. We have a pie in the oven that is going to take close to an hour to cook and we've got the roasted pumpkin that needs to cool down so we've got some time on our hands. I'm gonna go outside and we can share some pumpkin with the goats and the chickens and this canned pumpkin, since it's just pumpkin, no other ingredients, I'll give that to them as well. So now that these are roasted and cooled, they're pretty easy to uh, peel the skin off of or scoop the pumpkin out of, whichever way you prefer to do it. I've let this pumpkin cool, but I'm not taking any chances. We've got ear protection and face protection. Earmuffs, ready? Take that blender, who knows science now? Let's see if this one is... Uh, not W. Woo! Whoa! We're gonna get the dry ingredients next. Can I do? No. Bridget! We're making pumpkin pie. Can I touch it? <coughs> yeah. Take the bottom. Oh, it's warm. I'm making pumpkin pie on Tuesday. And we're making Let's see, pumpkin pie right there. So this pie is nearly cool, but I'm going to leave it on the rack because again, that helps to keep the bottom from getting that soggy crust. So I'm gonna leave it here with lots of airflow and um, later we will have some delicious pumpkin pie. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's all Bridget! That's all Bridget! <sighs> oh my gosh, well can you guys at least use forks? Yes. And I mean if you're gonna have pumpkin pie. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now we're all eating it. I hope you enjoyed today's show. So please subscribe. Do I make you laugh? Do I make you smile? Look at me, I'm so cute. What makes me so happy when you subscribe? Why haven't you subscribed yet? Please, pretty please. Ah! If you want, I'll dance. Thunder, feel the thunder. I'm missing the crazy.